Hi uh, there, so in this video I'm going to talk about the blog post structure and what's going on there. Um, so it's a little bit confusing the first time you see this. You open up blog and you get all of these files. So there's five different files, uh, but there's only really two types of pages. So underscore post, this is basically like representing your database. So you'll see here, ordinarily, blah, blah, blah. Um, you would fetch from a database or something. But this is just going to be our database is what we're using and it gets imported to the APIs. So these two things are APIs and they're called by these two pages. So in fact, if you wanted, you could skip all this and just import um, underscore or import post from post uh, from post. So you could do import post oops import post from underscore posts so JS like that if you wanted to rather than going through all this but then you're importing all of this data which if you're fine with you can do um, but this by doing it this way you're just importing what you need so you'll see it's preloading right here it's blog.json so this is blog and the index.json is this, so this is blog.json. Okay, and this is doing the importing for you. This is basically like the API. Um, and it's importing the post on the back end and then mapping them to just their title and slug and sending that back. Okay, so this is the content, it's sending it back to index.svelte and then it can return posts and get them here. Okay, so this preload thing, whatever you are returning, you can then get here as a prop. Okay, so it's, it's kind of confusing, kind of a lot of steps to go through, but I uh, hope that makes sense. So uh, I'll go through it again here. Slug.svelte, so when anything that matches this slug.svelte, so anything pretty much like when I click here, this, it's going to get called. So this will preload. Resolute this fetch blog params.slug.json. So with params, you can get params, which is right here, this slug, dot slug, and call the dot json API. So it'll call this. <clears throat> Again, it's importing the post on the back end instead of the front end. And then it's looking up your particular slug to see if it's in post.js. If it's if it can find it. Okay. And then if you can find it, um, where do you go? If you can find it, then it will stringify it, um, and then it'll send up send the lookup .get slug. It'll basically send back the data to here, and then you just get the post. That way, you're not importing all of the posts. So again, if you wanted, you could import all the posts and then just do that yourself and delete these. Uh, but then you're importing all the posts, which maybe isn't good. And another thing is if you are using something like Firebase and you can just call the database directly from your script here, then you don't need any of this. So this would be your database and you could delete that. Um, or Firebase would replace this and then you wouldn't need these APIs because you could just call the Firebase directly from in here. Okay, so hope that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're doing something on your own, you can just put your data in here. And if it's confusing, just import your data directly into your files here and just ignore all of this. You can just delete that and import posts from posts or whatever. Okay, you can just do that yourself and then deal with it in here. Okay, so hope that's helpful. Um, I don't know if that's completely clear yet, but um, let me know if you have any questions and I can respond to them or make another video. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.